Hello guys, in today's quick tutorial, I will show you how to make a book cover mockup using AI generated image. We will go from this image right here into a fully usable mockup that you can reuse throughout your entire career. Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. All right, so the first thing that we will do is we will go to Photoshop right here and we will create a new file. To do that, we just go up here, click this new file icon and make a new file we will go with 3000 by 3000 and 300 resolutions now hit create okay so once we are here we will insert our image we can do that by simply drag and dropping our image from our file browser just like this drag and drop and hit enter now first we will remove this text right here from our image to do that we will select the layer of the image use lasso tool right here lasso tool if yours is not lasso tool you can just right click on it and choose lasso tool create a selection around the text and after you make the selection you can press generate fill and hit enter this will remove the text from the image okay Great. Now let's merge these two layer again by selecting selecting both of them. We can click this one first, hold Command or Control, then select the other layer, and we can merge it with Command E or Control E. Now we have a clean base for our mockup. Great. Next, we will create a square. We will select this rectangle tool right here. If yours is not rectangle tool, we can right click and select rectangle tool. Select and create a rectangle, just any size. Now, we will adjust the size to match the size of our design. So for this particular mockup, we will be using 3 by 4 ratio image. So to match that, we can use 1500 by 2000 pixel, just like this, okay? Now we can turn this into a smart object. To do that, we just go to the layer, right click, and convert to smart object, just like that. Now once we have our smart object and our base layer, we will now need to adjust the perspective of the smart object to match with the base mockup. To do that, we can first lower the opacity to 50%. Press Command T, move it to the right place, right click and select this tone. Now we will move the anchor point of the square to match with the book cover. Just like this, one, two, three, and four. Don't forget to zoom it to make sure that you're in the right place. Now to make our design look more realistic, we can mask out these edges right here that are moving more than the book cover by using the pen tool. Okay. Now we will select the pen tool and we will make a selection out of the cover. To do that, we will first click on the first point then click and hold on the second point to make a curve and click again and like that throughout the entire cover of the book you can take your time while doing this and make sure that you have the best possible point if you miss a spot right like this don't worry you can always undo by pressing command z or control z Okay, once we are back to the starting point, we can click on it again and make a selection like that. Now we will show our layer again and press this icon right here. This is layer mask and click. Great. Now our rectangle is done. 
Next, we will rename this rectangle into all design so we can easily spot it between our other layers. Okay. Now, the next part is we will insert our design into this rectangle. To do that, we can double click on this layer and we will go to this smart object file. Okay. To, in, to insert our design, we can simply drag and drop any of your design. You can just put it here. Hit Command S or Control or Control S to save. Or you can go up here and press save. And now we will close the file. To do that, we can press Command W or Control W. Or you can click the X button right here. Great. And now you can put the opacity back to normal and you have your new cover ready to be used. Just like that. When you want to change it again, you just go to the smart object layer. Let me change it to this one. Save it. Go back again. And that's it. You get a fully usable book cover mockup for your design needs. Now, once we have our template ready, we can save it and use it with bulk mockup plugins. Now that you've built this smart object template, here's where it gets crazy powerful. Pair it with bulk mockup plugin and you can generate hundreds of mockups in minutes. No more dragging files one by one. Just set it up, hit go and boom, your entire product line is ready to upload. Check bulkmockup.com. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. I hope this helped you and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I guess that's all for me and I'll see you in the next video.